M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Yesu FT847 satellite enabled shack in the box. Yes, VHF, UHF and the HF bands. Look at the front panel on the left here. You can see the satellite frequencies that have been added there and it will follow the Doppler shift once you set it up correctly. Lovely front panel. Every button that you would need is there on the front. So just scroll up here. Now when these came out, they were completely ahead of their time. Very popular, the 847, uh, called, also called an Earth Station. So going up through, there is a built-in internal antenna tuner as well. And then we've got here, only one transceiver gives you all mode operation. And then it lists all the different bands. Advanced digital signal processing system. And you can see the tuner button just there on the left. And then you've got RF amp, attenuator, AGC. Uh, I mean, it would take me all day just to read them out. So some of the headings, new leading edge receiver design, digital direct synthesizer, ultra low noise, and on and on. So did you have one? And there's the actual case showing the cooling system, which in its day was in innovative. Okay. And then let's look at these uh, satellite functions that we're seeing just here on the left. You can see there, there's a whole section of the front panel that is dedicated to the satellite side of this. And you can adjust your bandwidth. Now, my memory is that it was dual display, but single receive. So you either listen to one or the other. So what do you think? Do you think they should bring back transceivers like this? Do you prefer the, the modern transceiver that has the, the waterfall and the color screen? Or do you, or do you just want it to look like a, a radio? And this was, you know, if you look at radios that were preceding these devices going back through the 70s, um, they, you know, this was a very modern looking design and, and so popular. And then and then they just stopped making it. Um, but yeah, I understand how they want people to buy, you know, new radios. But I don't know, sometimes it's looking at the antenna jacks there. Sometimes I just think, you know, you tweak things you don't have to completely re redesign them when they're popular that's what i think just scrolling up now so yeah doing this video just to get some feedback from uh from people have you still got yours is it in good condition i know these still fetch 500 pound but people are paying 500 pound um for a device that's actually or ever is old it's old let's face facts and discontinue. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Just let me have some feedback. 7th